Imagine a year where summer never arrived, where snow fell in June and crops lay frozen in the fields, a year of widespread famine, social unrest, and a haunting reddish glow in the sky. This isn't the stuff of dystopian fiction. It's a chilling reality that unfolded two centuries ago, all triggered by an event thousands of miles away. An event so catastrophic it plunged the world into an unprecedented climate crisis. On April 10, 1815, the serene peak of Mount Tambor, on the distant island of Sumbawa, in present, day Indonesia erupted with a force rarely witnessed in human history. This wasn't just another volcanic explosion. It was a cataclysmic event, ranking as the largest eruption in at least 1,300 years. The sky turned dark, ash rained down for hundreds of miles, and the mountain itself lost a significant portion of its height, replaced by a massive caldera. The immediate devastation was immense, claiming tens of thousands of lives. But Tambra's wrath wasn't confined to its immediate vicinity. It launched an enormous volume of dust, ash, and sulfur dioxide high into the stratosphere, forming a vast veil that would soon encircle the globe. This atmospheric blanket acted like a giant sunshield, reflecting sunlight back into space. The result was a dramatic and prolonged cooling effect that would be felt most acutely on the other side of the world, particularly in Europe and North America. As 1816 dawned, a strange and unsettling weather pattern began to emerge. Spring brought unseasonable cold and persistent rains. Then, just as summer was expected to take hold, temperatures plummeted. Frosts were common in June and July across New England and Canada, while in Europe, torrential downpours led to widespread flooding. Crops failed on an epic scale, leading to soaring food prices and widespread hunger. Livestock perished, and communities struggled to survive. The summer of 1816 became known as the year without a summer. This unprecedented climate disruption had far-reaching consequences. Famine and disease spread, leading to mass migrations and social upheaval. The lack of oats for horses even contributed to the invention of the dandy horse, a precursor to the bicycle, as people sought new modes of transportation. Yet, amidst the hardship, there was also a burst of creativity. The gloom and atmospheric disturbances, particularly the stunning sunsets, are said to have inspired artists like J.M.W. Turner and influenced a dark romanticism in literature famously leading to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, conceived during a perpetually stormy Swiss summer that year. The year without a summer serves as a powerful reminder of how interconnected our world is and the profound impact a single natural event can have on the course of history.